Hello, my friends. It is Teacher Stefan bringing you fact or opinion. Let's read some stories and then decide what's true and always true or just what someone thinks or believes. A special bird. It looks like a hummingbird. See that bright flash of color in the garden? It's a hummingbird. Hummingbird, the cutest of all birds. Its wings move so fast that they are a blur, hard to see. The wings make a humming sound. Hummingbirds are fun to watch when they fly. This tiny bird can fly very fast. It can fly to the left. It can fly to the right. It can even fly upside down. The hummingbird can also stay in one place. It floats above a flower. It uses its long beak to suck nectar from the flower. Then, in a flash, the hummingbird is gone. Hummingbirds eat all day long, about once every 10 minutes. Their hearts beat very, very fast. Hummingbirds are smart, too. They can remember where to find flowers from the year before. Sometimes, hummingbirds take short rests. They like to stretch in the sun. They like to take baths in puddles. They like to sit on branches in the rain. They even play in sprinklers, just like little kids. These tiny birds are a special treat to see. The hummingbird. Here we have a long but interesting passage. Interesting because it shows facts, right? It shows real things about hummingbirds but it also shows a bit about the writer and how playful and fun the writer can be. A great passage, in my opinion, contains both facts and opinions, and they are blended together. But what we want to do now is extract them and separate them to better understand the concept. The writer thinks hummingbirds are what? Okay, not birds, because that's a fact. What is the opinion of the writer? Cute, right? Some people might not find them cute. It's just an opinion. But it is a fact that these birds are a treat to see, are the cutest birds, make a humming sound, are fun to watch. Think about someone who doesn't like hummingbirds. What would they still agree on? That they're great to see? That they're cute or fun to watch? No, these are all opinions of people who like hummingbirds. But the humming sound is just a fact about the bird. This is the sound that their fast little wings make, mm, whether you like them or not. Now I'd like an opinion. Hummingbirds have tiny hearts. Hummingbirds can fly upside down. Hummingbirds eat all day. Hummingbirds are fun to watch when they fly. Okay, well, if A, B, and D from two are opinions, which one matches up with A, B, C, or D from three? Hummingbirds have tiny hearts can fly upside down, eat all day long. These are scientific facts about the bird. If you studied hummingbirds, whether or not you like them, you would identify and note all of these as facts. But are they fun? How do you define fun to watch? Mm. This topic sentence of paragraph number two is just an opinion of the writer. Which of these is also an opinion? This little bird flies fast. They are a treat to see. They have long beaks. They float above feathers. They float above flowers. Float above flowers. Float above flowers. Tongue twister. Again, look at number two. We already separated facts and opinions here. Which of these is observable and provable? And which of these is just the writer's opinion?
it be. They are a treat to see, I agree, but not everybody loves birds. In fact, some people are frightened of birds. So in that case, it would be their opinion that they are not a treat. Next, pitcher, batter, catcher, mount. Four terms in the game of baseball. Let's read, take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Something, some, something in Cracker Jacks. I don't care if I'll never get back. A very popular children's song about baseball. But today is about reading. A baseball game is a lot of fun. People sit all around the field. They wear team colors. They wear hats like players. They wave team flags. Woo! The pitcher is the most interesting player to watch. Says who? He stands on a little hill of dirt. It's called the mound. He winds up and throws the ball really fast. Sometimes the batter has to jump out of the way. It's exciting when a batter hits a home run. He runs and touches all the bases. Loud music plays and pictures flash on the scoreboard. People in the crowd clap and yell, our team is the best, they shout. The game gets boring if nobody hits the ball. Time passes slowly, but get a tasty hot dog and you'll be glad you came. Now let's answer some questions. Which one of these is just the writer's opinion and not a fact? Pitchers throw the ball fast. Baseball games are fun. There are hot dogs to eat. People wear team colors. Mm. Again, which one is the same for everyone? Which one changes depending on who you ask? Fun, remember, how can you define fun? Not everybody has fun the same way that everybody else does. Look, a baseball game is a lot of fun for the writer and the writer's friends. For me, Baseball is always boring. That's just an opinion. Where is the fact? The game can be boring? No, but that's my opinion. You will be glad you came. I won't because I don't like baseball. A home run is exciting. Again, it's not exciting for me if I don't like baseball. The pitcher stands on the mound. Even though I don't like baseball, I can see the pitcher standing on the mound. It is a fact, it's provable, there he is. I still find the game boring, but the rule is the pitcher stands on the mound. Boring is an opinion, being glad, it's hard to measure, exciting, depending on who you are. But the pitcher stands on the mound, that's a rule of the game and it is a fact. Which of these is also a fact? The pitcher throws a ball. Time passes slowly. If it is boring, it is boring if there are no hits. Our team is the best. Mm, there are a lot of opinions here. Time passes slowly, unless you love baseball, and then maybe it passes quickly. It is boring if there are no hits. It is boring if it is baseball for me. Opinion, our team is the best. That is just your opinion. I bet other teams think that they are the best. But again, the pitcher stands on the mound, the pitcher throws the ball. Facts, facts, facts. Which one is an opinion here? The crowd yells, the batter touches the bases, the pitcher is interesting, or the people wear hats. Mm, an opinion. At a baseball game and most sporting games, the crowds yell. Yes, the crowd is there to add excitement. Fact, the batter touches the bases. That's a rule of baseball. Fact, people wear hats. Yes, football games, baseball games, basketball games fact but the pitcher is interesting 
doesn't that depend on the pitcher? Doesn't that, doesn't that depend on who you are? Yes. C is just an opinion. A super playground. Looks like fun. Slides, a rock climbing wall, a rope, a ladder. Last summer, I visited my aunt and uncle. They are really cool. They had something exciting planned for each day. But the day we went to Dennis the Menace Playground was the very best. Dennis the Menace is a famous movie and possibly television show about a very bad boy. There is so much neat stuff at this playground. When you go in the gate, you see a real steam engine. Choo choo! You can climb up the ladder and go inside the cab. I pretended that I was running the train. Aunt Peg said I was brave to go on the climbing wall. It's nine feet high. We all went down the giant curvy green slide. Giant curvy green slide. But Uncle Ed wouldn't run across the swinging bridge. He said it was too scary. I felt like I was a jungle explorer. You won't believe how you get a drink of water on the playground. You put your head in a lion's mouth. But don't worry, the lion is fake. There are a lot of other really fun things at Dennis the Menace Playground. You should go see for yourself. In this passage, we talk about maybe the coolest thing ever, an enormous playground with a bunch of fun activities for children to do. Let's figure out which part of this super playground is fact or opinion. Where is the fact? The swinging bridge is scary. The climbing wall is nine feet high. Aunt Peg and Uncle Ed are cool. This playground is super fun. Mm. Let's sort out the facts. Scary. Different people find different things scary. Maybe you're afraid of heights. Maybe you're afraid of sharks. Maybe you're afraid of bridges. Maybe you're afraid of friendship. <laughs> cool. I think that short shorts and flower shirts are cool. Other people maybe don't think it's cool, but I don't think that they're very cool. The playground is super fun. Well, what about if you're afraid of playgrounds? What about if you're too big for the playground and the parents say, get away from that playground? Well, these are just opinions, but the nine feet tall climbing wall is a fact. We could get a measuring device and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's provable. Everybody can measure and see that it's nine feet tall. It's a fact. How about an opinion? The line is not real. The giant slide is green. The person telling the story is brave. You can climb into a steam engine. Okay, let's separate fact from opinion again. Brave. Mm. The person telling the story is brave. Do you find them brave? Does the person sitting next to you find this writer brave? For this to be a fact, everybody that's ever lived, that lives now, and that ever will live would have to find them brave, and it would have to be measurable and provable. But it's not. That's impossible. Because what does brave mean? Brave changes for everyone. So to say that this writer is an explorer and they're facing what's scary about a playground that makes them courageous and brave is just an opinion. Another opinion, Peg and Ed plan things to do. You can get a drink of water. This playground is really fun. There is a swinging bridge. Okay. What is just an opinion? 
what is just what someone thinks or believes. This playground is really fun. Again, not everyone might find it fun. Some people might hate it or be afraid of it or be bored with it. Yeah, there are a lot of other really fun things at Dennis the Menace Playground, if you like playgrounds. It's just an opinion. The person telling the story thinks what? Thinks that you should go to this place, that this place is great, is fun, and has lots of things to do. But of course, that's just their opinion. Which sport is for you? My big sister Marta loves team sports. She plays on a soccer team in the summer. In the winter, she plays volleyball and basketball. Marta says team sports help her stay healthy. Running, jumping, and throwing balls is good exercise. She says that sports are good for the mind too. Players must make choices. They have to think fast. Marta thinks team sports are the best. Team sports teach you how to play with others. Team sports also teach people how to be fair. They learn good ways to act when they lose too. I like swimming and bike riding. You can do them by yourself or with a friend. You don't have to wait for a team to get together. What do you think? Which sport is for you? Okay, which sport is for you? Explores facts and opinions about how to stay healthy by doing exercise in a variety of forms, sports. All right, an opinion about basketball. It is exercise. You play with others. It is better than swimming. You play with a ball. Mm. Which of these sounds like facts? And there's a clue word that should indicate an opinion. Better. Be very careful with these sorts of comparisons. Basketball is better than swimming. Says who? I like swimming better than basketball. Basketball requires a bunch of players, but swimming you can do on your own. I think swimming is better. This is just an opinion. Where's the fact? Soccer is fun. Team sports are best. You can ride a bike by yourself. Swimming is better than soccer. Okay, think about number one. Come to number two now. Fun, best, better. Right, these are just opinions. This is how someone feels. How is one thing better than another thing? It's just based off what you like, not off what everyone thinks, which only leaves C. And it is a fact that a bike is a single person activity. Of course, you can have someone on the handlebars, you can have two people bicycles, but C is by far the best answer here. Where's the opinion in these sentences? Soccer is a team sport. Team sports are good for you. You can play some sports outside. Sometimes teams lose. Can you prove all of these to be true? Almost. But team sports are good for you. Not if the players are mean. Not if you hate being out in social environments. Not if you're a bad team player. That's just an opinion. Which of these is not a fact about bicycle riding? Bring, 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 bring. It is better than volleyball. You can do it by yourself. You do not need a team to do it. It is exercise. Mm. Which one is not a fact about bike riding? Look here. It is better than volleyball, right? Basketball is better than swimming. Better opinion. Masked pests. Like this cute, furry, fuzzy, garbage-eating raccoon. 
Mm -hmm. In Canada, we have lots of problems with raccoons. They are very clever and they eat everything. Raccoons are cute and furry. They have long whiskers and pointed ears like cats. Their bodies look heavy for their short legs. Their long striped tails are very bushy. A raccoon's nose is narrow and pointed. See the rings around the raccoon's eyes? They look like a little dark mask. Raccoons may be cute, but they can be pests. They sleep during the day and come out at night to find food. Some raccoons live in the woods near ponds and streams, but many raccoons have learned to live around people. In the woods, raccoons eat fruit, nuts, insects, fish, and frogs. In towns, they eat people's trash, the garbage. A raccoon's front paws are a lot like our hands. These handy paws can do many clever things. They take the lids off garbage cans. They open jars, doors, and even blocks. When people see raccoons eating their trash, they try to shoo the raccoons away. The pesky raccoons do not run away though. They are not afraid. They just keep eating the trash. And that's true. If you've ever seen a raccoon, they have a lot of confidence, a lot of bravado. They are hard to scare. Masked Pets is a clever and fun passage about garbage's worst enemy, the raccoon. The writer thinks raccoons are cute, scary, playful, or helpless. Mm, what is the writer's opinion? Blip, blip, cute. The writer thinks, again, an opinion, a raccoon's front paws look fancy, move slowly, can do clever things, work best at night. Now, I agree with three out of these four, but what is the writer's opinion? Right here. They can do many clever things. What is a fact about raccoons? That they're cute, they have rings around their eyes, they wear a mask, are the most clever animals. Mm. I don't think they are the most. And how do you measure what the most clever animal is? Raccoons don't wear a mask. It looks like they have a mask. They are cute to me, but maybe not to others. But raccoons, opinion, opinion, opinion. Raccoons do have rings around their eyes, right? It looks like a dark mask, but the rings are a fact. Raccoons have tails, they have eyes, they have rings around their eyes fact. Tell me an opinion now. They live in towns, they have long tails, they have whiskers, they are pesky, they are annoying. Well, think about that. Pesky. Are raccoons pesky to other animals? Are raccoons pesky to trees? Are raccoons pesky to each other? This adjective shows an opinion, because if you don't put your trash out at night, then maybe they are not pesky. Maybe they are just cute little furry animals that you like to watch eat the neighbor's garbage instead. Parachute play. I remember this game. Everyone grabs a piece of the parachute or a color, you throw it up in the air, and you run underneath. My class played the best game ever today. Our teacher said there was a surprise for us out on the baseball field. When recess started, we ran out to see. Wow, a great big parachute was spread out on the grass. It was round and blue. My classmates and I stood around the parachute. We each held a part of the edge. We lifted the chute up high in the air. It felt light. It puffed up with air. It looked beautiful. Our teacher tossed a beach ball onto the parachute. 
We made waves with the parachute and laughed as the beach ball bounced around. Next, we played a game of tag, you're it, tag, you're it, can't catch me. We lifted the parachute up over our heads. Then our teacher called out two names. The people whose names she called had to run under the parachute. They had to switch places with each other before the parachute sank. It was so much fun. I hope we can play again tomorrow. What's parachute play about? Can you summarize it? It talks about a very popular and very fun game that's played in a lot of schools involving a classroom of children, one teacher, and a giant colorful rainbow parachute. In this case, a beach ball. The writer thinks the teacher's surprise is sad, magic, wonderful, or confusing. What is their opinion? Right here. There was a surprise for us and it was so much fun. It was wonderful. If you put magic, that's a pretty good answer too. The writer also thinks the parachute is heavy, easy to hide under, hard to share with friends, or fun to play with. Well, we just answered that one. Fun. Now let's answer a factual question. The class plays games. The parachute looks pretty. The teacher is nicer than others. The games are better than others. Better, nicer, no, no, no. Pretty, no. Those are opinions. But the class plays games. Not the class plays fun games. The class plays games. Fact. That's what they did. Now, which word makes the following sentence an opinion? Okay. Just like if I said the class plays fun games, fun makes it an opinion. But here, my class played the best game ever today. Is it class played best or ever? Mm. My class played a game today. Mm. The best, right? Why is something better than something else? What makes something the best? You know what? An opinion. Four great seasons. Spring, summer, fall or autumn, and winter. What's your favorite? Summer. Some people live in places where the weather is different each season. Their summers are warm and bright. They go swimming with friends. They have fun hiking, biking, and camping. If they live near water, they can go fishing and boating too. People who live in places with four seasons feel summer change to fall. The days grow cool and crisp. As the leaves turn color, the trees look dipped in gold. Children jump into piles of leaves. People who live in places with four seasons enjoy frosty winters. Their world is often covered with sugar white snow. They go sledding and build cute snowmen. People who live in places with four seasons are the most happy when spring comes. People enjoy spending time outdoors after the long, cold winter. Fresh green leaves appear on the bare trees. Brightly colored flowers bloom. Lots of opinions in here. Who can say which season is best? Who can say that people wait for the spring? My friends, for example, love snowboarding in Canada and they can't wait for summer to end and the snow to fall. What's your opinion? Which sentence tells that the writer thinks fall trees are pretty? Okay, now you have to think about what the meaning of a sentence is or implies or infers. They look dipped in gold. They are covered with sugar. They are warmed by the sun. They turn colors. Mm. Mm. They look dipped in gold. Yes, because 
Gold is beautiful. It sparkles. It's valuable. It's strong. It's rare. So a tree dipped in gold, ooh, wouldn't that look pretty? Which one is a fact? Camping is fun. Winter is too cold. Snowmen look cute. Fall is after summer. Fun opinion. Too cold opinion. Looks cute opinion. But summer turns into fall, turns into winter, turns into spring, turns into summer. Fact. The writer thinks hiking is silly, fun, boring, or dangerous. Where can we find this answer? They have fun hiking, biking, and camping. Which one makes the sentence an opinion? People who have four seasons see snow fall in the winter, are warmest in the summer, are most happy in the spring, see leaves change in the fall. Well, it's a fact that winter is the coldest. It's a fact that summer is the hottest. It's a fact that one turns into the other. But most happy? I am most happy in the summer. So that's just your opinion. Cats are better. Ooh. Many people like dogs more than cats. Dogs are friendly and smart. They are fun to spend time with. I think dogs are very nice but cats make better pets. Cats are quieter, they are cleaner, they are easier to take care of, and they are good company too. Cats are quiet. They purr softly when they are happy. Cats do not bark loudly like dogs each time someone knocks on the door. They do not bother the neighbors with noises they make. Cats are almost as quiet as mice. Cats are cleaner than dogs too. They do not need to be given baths. They clean themselves with their tongues. Cats are easy to care for. They do not need as much attention as dogs. They do not need daily walks. Cats are very cozy company. They curl up quietly on their owner's laps. This is an opinion piece on someone who really prefers cats to dogs. I like both. I wish I had room for both. I have room for none. I live in a very small place. And a loud dog or a cat with lots of hair would not work for me. The writer thinks dogs are cozy, sleek, clean, or noisy. Well, if cats are quieter, then she thinks dogs are noisy, which can be true. It is an opinion that cats have four legs, that cats purr and meow, that cats make good pets, that cats clean themselves. Well, four legs, yes. They purr, meow, yes. They clean themselves, yes. Make good pets, well, not for me. So that's an opinion. Which one is a fact? Cats do not bark. Dogs are too loud. Cats make good pets. Most people like dogs. Well, Dogs are too loud if you don't like noise. Cats make good pets if you like cats. Most people like dogs. I'm not sure. I'd have to interview everybody in the world. But cats don't bark. No, they meow. The writer thinks that cats are hard to wash, incorrect, easy to care for, louder than dogs, quieter than mice. Ooh, there's a lots of false information here. Read the story again, and you'll find that the answer is B. The writer thinks cats are easy to care for. Playing with dirt. Our yard is not pretty, moans Sally. All I see is dirt and more dirt. Hank scoops some dirt into his hands. This soil is good, and it has no rocks, said Hank. It's just right for growing a vegetable garden. So Sally and Hank shoveled and seeded. They watered and weeded. A few months later, the yard had become a garden of greens. Green beans on vines twisted up wooden poles. A row of lettuce stood ready to be picked. Their leaves were green ruffles. Strips of cloth tied tomato plants to poles. 
Ripe tomatoes hung on the stems. They looked like red balls on Christmas trees. Other plants sat in a row. Their leaves were dark green and big. They hid the fat potatoes that grew under the ground. Hard work makes dirt look good, exclaimed Sally. Well, isn't this a nice little story about a brother and sister, perhaps, that are helping grow a garden? Yummy, yummy. Because Hank and Sally worked hard, they got rid of all the dirt, the tomatoes were red, they grew a vegetable garden, the flowers they grew were pretty. Oh, hmm. It's just right for growing a vegetable garden. A few months later, the yard had become a grew The yard had become a garden of greens. So is it A, B, C, or D? It's C, right? They wanted to make a vegetable garden. They worked hard, and so they did. The garden grows because Sally does not like the dirt that is in the yard. Hank scoops dirt in his hands. Sally and Hank tie plants to poles. Sally and Hank plant seeds and care for them. Which is the best answer? Many of these could be a possible answer, but remember, with multiple choice, you always choose the best answer. Look at everything they did. It's not just one thing, it's many things. So D is our best choice. Where, where, which one of these is the fact? Which one of these is the fact? A, B, C, or D? The soil is rich for growing food. Lettuce leaves are ruffles. The tomatoes look like red balls. Dirt is not pretty. Mm, our roughly, our ruffles look like red balls, are not pretty. Sounds like opinions to me. And if you check here in the second paragraph, you'll find the answer is A. Soil is rich for growing food. That's why plants grow in soil. Look at my bamboo, beautiful. Which one states an opinion? Green beans grow up poles. The yard is not pretty. The dirt has no rocks. Potatoes grow under the ground. Opinion, opinion. Mm. Well, it's B. But look, A, fact. C, fact. D, fact. We can all prove these things, which only leaves B. So you always have the choice of elimination and, of course, selecting the correct response. That is it for me. Wonderful teacher, Stefan. I'd like to thank you very much, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.